Hello all and welcome to our channel Liftoff. We are back again with another video from our space journey. If you are new here, we welcome you to our channel. We post daily updates from the world of space. Today, we are talking about how the Starship Raptor is a risk of bankruptcy to SpaceX. But before that, we would encourage you to like and subscribe to our channel to never miss out any of our updates from the world of space. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk reportedly said in a company memo that its Raptor program was in crisis and suggested it posed a major threat to the space venture. Musk said in a memo sent on Friday and obtained by CNBC's Michael Sheets that he was upset with the lack of progress on the Raptor engines that power its Starship rocket. Space Exploration first reported the news. We face genuine risk of bankruptcy if we cannot achieve a Starship flight rate of at least once every two weeks next year, Musk said according to CNBC's report. SpaceX did not respond to a request from comment from Insider. But Musk commented on Twitter. He said he is working on fixing the issue. Musk has faced the possibility of bankruptcy in the past. The CEO has said another business venture, Tesla, was only a month away from bankruptcy when it was ramping up production of the Model 3 from 2017 to 2019. While SpaceX is thought to be the second most valuable private company in the world, the success of the Raptor engine production represents a crucial part of its future, including Musk's plan to populate Mars. SpaceX is developing its Starship rocket to launch people and cargo to the moon and Mars, and Starship will need as many as 39 Raptor engines to power it for orbital launches, CNBC reported. The company has tested the rocket only on short flights at its facility in Texas. Musk said in November that SpaceX planned to launch Starship into orbit by January or February, but Raptor engine production appears to be lagging. The Raptor production crisis is much worse than it seemed a few weeks ago. Musk reportedly said in a memo, adding, We need all hands on deck to recover from what is quite frankly a disaster. The CEO reportedly said that he had planned to take a break, but that the production issues necessitated that he work during the holiday weekend. SpaceX's development of its Starlink satellite internet program also depends on Starship's progress. The space company has launched about 1,700 satellites using its Falcon 9 rocket, but Musk reportedly said in the memo that the newest version of Starlink would require Starship's extra mass. Musk's email came shortly after Will Hetzley, SpaceX's vice president of propulsion, left the company. CNBC reported that Hetzley had been moved off the Raptor program because of lack of progress. Earlier in November, Musk tweeted that Raptor engines required a complete design overhaul. On Black Friday, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk sent an anxious email to his company's employees urging them to work over the weekend on SpaceX's Raptor engine line and describing the production situation as a crisis. In the email, a copy of which was obtained by The Verge, Musk argued that the company faces a genuine risk of bankruptcy if production doesn't increase to support a high flight rate of the company's new Starship rocket next year. The Raptor is SpaceX's massive methane engine that will be used to propel the company's next generation launch system called Starship. SpaceX plans to use Starship to take people to deep space and in April, NASA awarded SpaceX a $2.9 billion contract to develop Starship as a lunar lander to transport astronauts to the moon's surface as early as 2025. SpaceX has been working hard at developing and testing Starship prototypes at the company's test site in Boca Chica, Texas, though the company has yet to launch the vehicle into orbit. SpaceX is currently hoping to conduct Starship's first orbital launch in either January or February 2022. However, according to Musk's email, SpaceX needs to launch Starship at least once every two weeks next year to keep the company afloat. And apparently, Raptor engine development isn't on track at the moment. In the email, first reported by Space Explored and CNBC, Musk claimed that after key senior management departed the company, SpaceX personnel looked deeper into issues surrounding Raptor production and found them to be far more severe than what was reported. Two vice presidents, one of whom worked on Raptor engine development, recently left the company, CNBC reported this month. While Starship will ultimately be used to transport people to deep space, Musk also stressed the vehicle's role in launching the company's next-generation Starlink satellites. 
Starlink is SpaceX's ambitious initiative to launch a mega constellation of nearly 12,000 satellites to provide broadband internet coverage to users all over the Earth. So far, SpaceX has launched more than 1,800 Starlink satellites and is currently serving roughly 140,000 users in more than 20 countries. According to a presentation SpaceX gave to the Federal Communication Commission on November the 10th, However, SpaceX has only launched the first version of its Starlink satellites, known as version 1 or V1. Most of those satellites don't have lasers allowing them to communicate with one another, though recent launches have included this capability. Eventually, SpaceX plans to launch its version 2 or V2 satellites, which are much more massive and will include laser communication. As per his email, Musk claims that Starship is the only rocket that can launch these larger satellites. Falcon has neither the volume nor the mass to orbit needed for satellite V2, Musk wrote, adding that satellite V1 by itself is financially weak, whereas V2 is strong. SpaceX filed an amendment with the FCC in August, proposing changes to its satellites with plans to launch them on Starship. In the email, Musk also noted that SpaceX will be ramping up production of its user dishes, which customers must buy in order to tap into the Starlink V2 satellites. Musk says the terminals will be useless unless the new satellites are ready to handle the bandwidth demand. It's hard to know for sure if SpaceX is truly in dire straits. In 2018, Musk claimed that his company, Tesla, came within single-digit weeks of collapse over problems with the production of the Model 3. Since then, Tesla has rebounded and recently surpassed a $1 trillion valuation. The email by Elon Musk was stated as, Unfortunately, the Raptor production crisis is much worse than it seemed a few weeks ago. As we have dug into issues following exiting prior senior management, they have unfortunately turned out to be far more severe than reported. There is no way to sugarcoat this. I was going to take the weekend off as my first weekend off in a long time. But instead, I will be on the Raptor line all night and through the weekend. Unless you have critical family matters or cannot physically return to Hawthorne, we need all hands on deck to recover from what is, quite frankly, a disaster. The consequences for SpaceX, if we can't get enough reliable Raptors made, is that we can't fly Starship, which means we can't fly Starlink V2 satellites. Falcon has neither the volume nor the mass to orbit needed for Satellite V2, and Satellite V1 by itself is financially weak. In addition, we are spooling up terminal production to several million units per year, which will consume massive capital, assuming that Satellite V2 will be on orbit to handle the bandwidth demand. These terminals will be useless otherwise. What it comes down to is that we face genuine risk of bankruptcy if we cannot achieve a Starship flight rate of at least once every two weeks next year. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe for similar content just like this. Until next time.